can resist that? Whoa! That's Spider-Man, dude. That's some messed up energy. Harry probably knows more about Fisk than anyone. Every day a new crisis. A new distraction. Armed lunatics take hostages in our building. Some low-level employee gets himself electrocuted on the job. I don't need this. I can't have it. And the whole city's a mess. If the police can't keep order, I will. The battle armor we're developing for the military could help. I don't have the connections in local government to make it work, but I know a potential investor who does. I can't go see Harry like this. Wow. Everyone knows Fisk is crooked. But you're saying he's actually setting himself up as the top crime boss in New York? That's what I've been hearing. I'm, uh, working with Whitney Chang on a story, and she needs proof. You're closer to Fisk than anyone I know. Not really. He, he keeps his business private. But, as an investor, I do have access to the task force's financial records. Oh. Okay. One of the addresses you gave me came up. Large payments to a security consultant. Fisk handles all the personnel decisions. He's the one who hired this Kravenoff guy. But he cooked the books, so technically, Oscorp's paying him. He's trying to throw me under the bus. Join the club. You okay? Yeah. It's just... I trusted someone I shouldn't have. And I probably should have seen it, but... After losing my dad and Uncle Ben... I guess I wanted to believe... You wanted a father figure. I know what that's like. My dad shut me out of his life to focus on saving his own. And all he ended up leaving me was the disease that killed him. Huh? Oh. Harry, I'm sorry. What is it? It's genetic. Very rare. Degenerative. My father extended his life by spending a fortune while he looked for a cure. I don't have that kind of time. There's gotta be some hope. Gene therapy. That's what all my dad's research was about. Harry, I'm sorry. Is that why Norman started the cross-species experiments? Yeah. He thought he could give himself the resistance some animals have to conditions like this. But the closest he ever got was the work he did on spiders with your father. But Dad disappeared. And his work went with him. Your task force. Their body armor has medical applications. Can it help at all? It's not a cure, but it can give mobility to people who can't get around on their own. The task force has helped me improve on it, and protect my research from criminals who'd steal it. <sighs> but it was a mistake to work with Fisk. He, uh, he knows you're sick? He figured it out. And now he's waiting for me to die so he can take Oscorp for himself. Listen, Pete. Take it from a guy who knows. When the people you trust turn their back on you, it's just proof you have to handle your problems yourself. But sometimes... you still need help. 
Harry, I'll do whatever I can for you. Just tell me what- Spider-Man. No one knows for sure how he got his powers. But he looks to me like the only successful, healthy example of cross-species genetics out there. You take pictures of him. You must have some way of reaching him. Well, uh... Peter, I need Spider-Man's blood. my lucky day. As if I didn't have enough problems, now I have to worry about Oscorp being stolen out from under me. Donald Menken's supposed to work for me, and for now, he's doing what I say, but it's obvious he'd like to run the place. Then there's Wilson Fisk. He keeps offering to buy the company. I might even sell it if I didn't need Oscorp's research division to find a cure for my disease. I've got to watch them. They'd both stab me in the back without thinking twice. caught up with Peter Parker. We used to be pretty good friends when we were kids, and our dads were partners. I was hoping he might be able to tell me more about his father's research, but he doesn't know any more than I do. Less, actually. Based on dad's papers, I get the impression Richard Parker went on the run because dad wanted to weaponize his research. Typical Norman Osborne. He either ran off or killed the one guy who might have been able to save his life. Stand off, yeah. people are gonna die. Hey, get this body 
my blood could cure Harry, I'd give it to him in a heartbeat. It'll take time and lots of research to find out. And he's in no need to wait. good to take out the trash. Spider-Man disarmed the shooters and left them wrapped up in webs for police. Norman Osborn lived for years with his disease. Harry's got time, even if he doesn't feel like he does. Before I give him my blood, I need to make sure it's safe. For him and everyone else.
I can check that one off my list. Just what I wanted. Put this off long enough. Gotta catch up to Harry and talk to him. You came. Thank you. I'll pay whatever you want. Mr. Osborne, wait. I've checked with scientists familiar with gene therapy, and I can't give you my blood. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? I'll die without it. Not right away. There's still time for more research. Every other cross-species subject has turned into a monster. I don't know why it's different from me. I'm, I'm looking into it. I've but... paid the top minds in the field to look into it. A fortune. They don't have the answers. I'm willing to take the chance. It's not just about you. The lizard, the other cross-species, they hurt people. Get out. Kill people. Just get out. I can't give you my blood until I, I know right. it's safe. I can't I trust promise. anyone. I'll find out. I'm on my own. Mr. Osborne, I... No, 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 just... just go. Harry's really at the end of his rope. I should have noticed a long time ago, but I was busy being played for a fool by Craven. I can't believe I fell for his act. But why would he teach me his hunting techniques if he was going to betray me? I guess that's one of the things I'll have to ask him. Oh, yeah. Craven, time for a little mentor-mentee chat. You know, discuss our mutual goals. Map out a five-year plan. Explain why you're working for a human jello mold. Looks empty. Maybe I can still find some answers. me. He was gonna kill me and stuff me like a trophy. All this time he's been studying me, testing me, figuring out my strengths, how to beat them. You're a fake, a coward. This is your idea of a fair hunt? Oh no. It's only the prelude. antidote I gave you should remove all effects of the tranquilizer. I want you at the peak of your abilities. Stop acting like you're King Arthur. All that talk about honor. You lied to me. Betrayed me for the kingpin and his money. That was incidental. I did not betray you. I truly taught you all I knew. Not just so you would eliminate the Kingpin's rivals, but to make you the worthiest possible opponent. The foe I knew you would be. My greatest hunt. Now you are ready. And now we will see who is the hunter and who is the prey. So you used me to take out the Kingpin's rivals. What about Cassidy? I noticed you jumped in to stop him talking to me. 
Cassidy was useful for a time. He sold fear and mistrust, but he is little more than a beast. It was in him. You can ambush me from the trees. You a poor sport. He's in the trees. Gotta find him before he springs a trap. You wanted me to watch Cassidy kill that kid. Why? So I'd kill him? So I'd feel guilty? Just because you're a sick freak? It was a test. To see how strong you could be. If you could stomach this spilling of blood. I admit. I'm still waiting for an explanation for your mustache. Impossible. I studied you. You are not capable of this kind of fury. You lack a killer instinct. Always one step behind. Not true. I get as angry as you do. I want to hurt my enemies just as much. The difference is, I know it's wrong. trees, but I have to try. There is no escape. He's in the trees. Gotta find him before he springs a trap. I can smell. Say some fun bad it's so weird. <laughs> to the death. No, that's your way. On my watch, no one dies. So you used me to take out the kingpins. Hey, no, na prawdę była bo dla mnie. Dopiero powiem w tym miejscu zacząć odcinek. O jej ludzie, wybaczcie mi, nie miałem. 25 minut około nagrywałem. No i patrzę, mikrofon wyłączony. No brawo dla mnie, kurde, aż sam się zdenerwowałem na siebie. No i co mam zrobić? No wrzucę ten odcinek bez mojego komentarza te 25 minut. Gadałem bez przerwy prawie. I nic z tego się nie zapisała, więc brawo dla mnie. No i cóż, mówiłem mniej więcej kilka minut temu, że gdy przegrałem, że słyszymy się za chwilę mm, mniej więcej w tym samym miejscu. Więc okej, okay, słyszymy się za chwilę mniej więcej w tym samym miejscu. Jeszcze raz przepraszam, nie chciałem. Miałem mikrofon wyłączony, no brawo dla mnie, ale okej, okay, więcej się to nie powtórzy, mam nadzieję. Więc słyszymy się za chwilkę. Jeszcze sobie sprawdzę, czy teraz nagrywam. Okej, okay, jestem z powrotem, zostało mu tyle życia, może tym razem go dobijemy, mam nadzieję, że tak, ojej, ajajaj. No dawaj. Udało się, a więc popatrzcie, Craven pokonany leży i kwiczy, zwija się z bólu, no ale cóż, o teraz jest to, siedź. Kill me, give me death over defeat. You're saying death isn't defeat? You planning on coming back as a craven zombie or something? Anyway, I won. That means I call the shots. What are your terms? You're a few episodes short of a season, Craven, but you've always had your own loony code of honor. So you're gonna tell me how to get to the kingpin. The truth. Everything you know. Very well. You have won that right. Ask, 
and I shall answer. Okay, czy mamy do rozmowy? I ran into someone who says Kingpin gets test subjects at Ravencroft. How? The institution has lost all government funding. It now relies upon private donors, of which Fisk is the largest. Now that Norman Osborn is dead. And they just let him experiment on inmates like some kind of Dr. Chubbenstein? <laughs> they encourage it. They view the inmates as hopelessly damaged. Useful only as test subjects. I know you. You're always checking out your surroundings. You notice everything. Yes, it's true. I met with Fisk in his building, where I took note of the locations of his cameras, weapons, and accessible points of entry. He has a Telec 4566 security system, and I know the passwords. Well, you get a gold star. Draw me a map, and don't leave anything out. Okay, continue to the model. The information I have given you will get you inside the building, but you must still face Fisk himself. I'll distract him with cupcakes. This is why you will lose. You underestimate him. He has fought for his life since he was a boy. If you show even a moment's weakness, he will see it and kill you. The old killer instinct, huh? A lot of good it did you. I'm not sure if the cops can pin anything on you, but if not, take my advice and go back to Russia. Fisk doesn't seem as forgiving as I am. <laughs> no i cóż. Dobrze, Craven schwytany. Charakter upgrade, upgrade un, un, odblokowany. Zobaczmy, co my tu mamy. To jest to na samym dole, blokowało mi się? Nie. <laughs> Dobra, mam 1200 punktów, czyli na nic mi nie stać, tak? <laughs> Chyba na nic. E, więc cóż, w tym momencie... Mm, zakończymy sobie ten odcinek. Ja się z wami żegnam. A chwila, a popatrzcie, a jednak odblokowało mi się. Mm. Dobra. E, Sonic Web chyba. Mm, no i okej, okay, 2000 punktów potrzeba, żeby to ulepszyć. Więc dobrze, no i chyba nas od razu gdzieś przekierowuje. <grych> Ale zobaczymy to sobie za chwilę. Zobaczymy to sobie. <grych> I wykonamy ten odcinek, więc okej, okay, dawaj, 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 się nie poddawaj i lecimy z tym koksem. Are you kidding me? With everything going on in the city, they're sending task force guys out of town? I heard it's about that stolen Oscorp tech. Some kind of armor they're trying to get back. So? We need backup now. But they don't care if working stiffs like us get killed. This is my chance to find out what the task force's real priorities are. Okej, okay, mam iść do Fisk Tower, czyli 2000 metrów, wow. No dobra, to zajdziemy sobie tam w następnym odcinku. Ja się z wami żegnam, subskrybujcie, komentujcie, oceniajcie, zresztą ja trzymacie się i cześć! Jeszcze raz przepraszam za mikrofon, hej!